everyone, my name is Heather Autumn and welcome to my channel. So today I'm taking you to one of the US's smallest states, but it has tons to do here, and that's Rhode Island. I'm here at Roger Williams Zoo for their jack-o'-lantern spectacular. So from what I read, they have hundreds of carved jack-o'-lanterns that we can see. They're gonna be all lit up and they're already playing a lot of fun Halloween music. So I'm gonna take you in. All right, so I got a hot dog and I also got a beer. Um, one thing they didn't tell me was that the cafeteria in the center of the park is closed. So I ran all the way down there for nothing. <laughs> and then I had to run all the way back. So, but I have dinner. It's pretty reasonably priced. I mean, again, it's a park and it's a zoo especially, so they have animals to feed, so the prices are a bit higher. But uh, so far, pretty good. So now we start the pumpkin part of our tour. So some of these pumpkins have to be um, replaced every two to three days. So you can imagine the amount of carving that has to happen behind the scenes. But this is so cool, I can't wait to show you. theme for this year is Wonderlust. So the whole thing is about pumpkins all over the world. This is kind of overwhelming. There are so many pumpkins behind me. It's just, it's overwhelming. <laughs>
because this is Wonderlust and it's about travels around the world, we are now heading into Egypt.
so as a content creator, especially one who deals with a lot of travel and events and things like that, one thing I'm always afraid of is not having enough content to make an episode. And that's happened a couple of times. <laughs> so when I looked up this event, I saw some pictures and I wasn't actually sure if it was worth going to at first. When I went to work, I forgot my other batteries and I just brought one charged one. And I was kind of debating whether or not I should go back because I actually didn't think I'd be recording a lot. And I went home and I got the extra batteries and let me tell you, I am so happy I did because this display was absolutely massive. It was so hard to film all the cool things happening. There were thousands. I thought hundreds, but I really do now think it was thousands of pumpkins. And they were all carved so wonderfully, like with these cute little faces. And then of course you saw the other ones that I featured that were so high detailed. I have no idea how they did that. I don't know if it was by hand or what, but wow. <laughs> it was like one of those moments where I was like, what do I film? There's just so much, like you can't really focus on any one thing. I would say get here early, even if the sun is still up, just because it does get really packed. But other than that, it was a lot of fun. I absolutely recommend this place. Place. It was way beyond what I was expecting. So props to them. You guys did a great job. So I have to head home. It's an hour drive back and I have tons of footage to go through now, which was not what I was expecting. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next weekend. Bye.